so fresh. Today the team are at South Bank where I'll be interviewing Siobhan Benita, who's an independent candidate for the Mayor of London. We're going to find out a bit more about her campaign and what she thinks about creativity and innovation. Hi Siobhan. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Um, for everyone that doesn't know, can you just explain a bit about yourself and what sure. you're doing at the moment? Sure. My name's Siobhan Benita. Um, I resigned my job. I spent 15 years working as a senior civil servant and earlier this year I resigned to run um, in the Mayor of London elections and I'm running as an independent candidate which means I'm not aligned to any political party and I think that's really important yeah. for the Mayor role. Well, wow, what made you want to run for it? One, I'm passionate about public service and that's why I went into the civil service and I think over the years I felt like I was getting too far removed from actually being able to help really make a difference to people's lives. Yeah. But also, um, the role of mayor, the more I looked into it, it shouldn't be party political. And I'd seen working with ministers kind of behind the scenes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And actually, we don't have to have all of that party political baggage yeah. with the role of mayor. So I really think, you know, you need some new voices in there. I think Definitely. people are quite tired of the ones we've got. What were your expectations when you first decided that you wanted to run for mayor? Um, I wasn't sure how people would, would receive it, how people would kind of accept me there. I think we've gone a lot further in this competition already, in the race already, than people expected us to. So for an independent candidate, we're getting quite good media coverage. Um, we need a lot more, so things like this are absolutely brilliant for yeah. us. I just need people to know there are different candidates in this election. Definitely. So it doesn't have to be the same people all the time. Have you found it quite hard being independent? It's hard compared to those that are with. Yeah, parties. well, they've got the party, they've got the big money behind them, Definitely. they've got loads of um, par you know, party political volunteers. But we've got a small team, but we're perfectly formed. So, yeah. you know, we're, I think we're managing to make an impression, actually. I think that's great yeah. that you're doing that yeah. because it seems like it's so much harder work. Yeah. But we're doing we're having properly. to be a bit cleverer, I think, and yeah. use kind of different channels. Um, so, we're doing a lot of social media, you know, I've, I've learned how to go on Twitter. Yeah. And all of that. We don't have the money to do the big leafleting, and I don't think you should be in this day and age anyway. I think it's a waste of money. Definitely. So um, it's forcing us to be a bit more creative. What does creativity and innovation mean to you? Gosh, it means so much. I mean, um, you know, innovation, it's about looking to the future and finding the next big thing yeah. so it's not just incremental changes how do you actually create that next big um, you know thing that's going to kind of change the way people think about life think the way they live their lives and um, one of my frustrations in this campaign is we have candidates who are fighting old battles right and actually i want to be somebody that says do you know what this city is fantastic we have got so much creativity you know we lead the world on kind of creative sciences Definitely. or media, let's harness all of that and see how we can actually push that forward and do even more in that space. Um, and as you were saying that a lot of people are focusing on the moment about the negative things yeah. to do with youth, yeah. um, obviously unemployment is very high at the yeah. moment, what would you kind of do to reduce that or yeah. what would you kind of do to stop yeah. the problem? Well again, going back to what I said at the beginning, you have to start right at the beginning, you have to make our education system better. Yeah. The education system we have at the moment doesn't work for so many kids across London. The Mayor should be working with um, industry, with businesses, to make sure that the schemes they offer, the mentoring schemes for example, it's fantastic, we have mentoring schemes, we have apprenticeships, but actually are they focusing on the skills that are going to actually give people the skills that are transferable and that are going to get them into the marketplace. I think there could be Do you more... think that's what the problem is? I think some of the schemes that we've got at the moment tick some boxes. Yeah. So kind of kids are put into them just to, to be said that they're doing them. They don't actually have a prospect of, of anything better at the end. Mm -hmm. But I've seen some fantastic um, companies that are doing kind of bespoke apprenticeship courses that okay. they've actually created work, working with central organisations and actually what they're saying is if, um, if the apprentices go through these schemes and they do the exams while they're on them and they get the training, we will pretty much guarantee them a job, a job at, the at the end of it. I think yeah, that's fantastic definitely. if we could do more of that. And what they were saying is it's a win-win. They were in an industry. The one I went to see, for example, was a mortgage broker. Okay. And what they were saying is, one, an apprenticeship course didn't exist for, for mortgage brokers. Yeah. And secondly, they were a successful company, but they weren't finding any recruits because people didn't see mortgage broking as a, as a great opportunity at the moment. Yeah. They were saying, actually, it's the opposite. There are really good opportunities here. So they created these courses. That's we met great. three fantastic apprentices there who were loving it there. So more like that, I think it's... Um, 
you know, focusing in on what's really going to give people the skills that are going to help them get a job. We're calling for police commissioners. Yeah. I want to have an education commissioner. I care as much about education as I do about crime and policing. Definitely. So let's like make a difference in those areas. One other idea I've got is a free London day. So my free London day is you have one day a month where transport in London is free for everybody. That would be amazing. It's really good. <laughs> I'll um, go everywhere. <laughs> and it's to encourage families, people to get out and about. You have all of the discounts that are being offered anyway on these voucher schemes. Yeah. Let's package them all up in a really great day for London once a month so you can go out and about, have access to all these discounts and vouchers and everything. And I would invite the City of London to sponsor that day every month because I want to build a future with the banks. I'm not into bashing the banks yeah. just for the sake of bashing the banks because they're so important for London. Let's actually help bring them back into the mainstream and say actually there are things you can do to help London go forward.